So, Bahamas, tan worn off yet? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Is uh, gotten back to seeing your guys, not getting annoyed. You spent eight days with them. Uh, yeah, I mean it's been good. We had a great time down there. Um, you know, basically, you know, everyone was hanging out with everyone type deal. You know, we'd all go well, like I'd go to the beach with like the twins and AP, and you know, I'd come back with, like EJ and Marcus. So it was, it was pretty cool just hang out with everyone. Uh, did Cal ever? Did, uh, what, did, what did Cal or the coaching staff talk to you about improving this year? Because it seemed like last year when you would play offensively, you would do a lot of just passing into the block and standing in the corner. Did, did right. Try to knock you out of that comfort zone. Uh, I mean a little bit. I, you know, I was trying to get the bigs going when I was in there. Uh, you know, if you, you like pound the ball, I mean, they're like they're seven feet tall. Like, I don't understand like why we wouldn't go to them every time. But um, so we, I would try and get them going, and then if I was open, you know, I'd try and take a shot, or whatever. So, um, you know, in the off season, I, I have been working on my shot. They've noticed that, uh, like, you know, when I shoot, I'm leaning to the left or you know, I'm off balance. So definitely like holding my follow through and making my misses more around the rim. So when I do miss, you know, we have three seven foot guys going there, and you know, it's, it's a dunk. So how do you think you guys, you know? How do you think you guys went to the platoon system? Have you ever been in a platoon before? And how do you think you guys no, this is the first time it's ever happened. Um, actually, I take that back. It might have happened in AAU like once or twice, but yeah, for the most part, uh, this is probably the first time. Um, uh, I mean, I kind of liked it. It got it allowed. Uh, it gave exposure to you know all, all of our ten players, and um, I don't know, it was just because like I don't know. A lot of coaches can't do it, and. Oh, this is different. It really was. Were, was it? Uh, how much more physical were these professional players and you know your uh, everyday SEC team that you so play? I didn't really uh, notice much of a difference, honestly. Um, uh, and that's probably because like the bigger guys, they like to bang more and stuff like that, yeah. even from like overseas. Um, shoot. I could compare them to probably like like a, like a mid-season, probably like any SEC team or something like that. Um, in Coach Cal's system, you're always fighting for playing time, um, but being a big man, especially this year, right. um, it's obviously a little bit more difficult. Uh, how do you go about doing that? What's your uh, mindset? It's just the competitive nature of the team. Um, you, you want to compete, and uh, oh, it's just going to make everything, everyone better, and you know, everyone's going to benefit. So. I don't know. I'm just gonna, you know, fit in where I fit in, and uh, you know, if someone's out shining me in practice, I'm just gonna get in the gym more and just work at it. I assume in high school there weren't many people that were taller than you that you played uh, against, at least in high not school. Not that I remember. I mean, the teams that did have like a kid around my size, you know, we'd have to go to like a you know, out of state tournament, so, and we usually saw them in like like a championship or something like that. How so. different was it to face four, five, six guys that were just as tall or taller? Uh, I mean. You know, it really wasn't like much of a difference, you know, considering we practiced with like you know, NBA like type players. So I don't know, it didn't really bother me. Have there been any any former Kentucky players come in and um, practice with you guys I mean, lately? During the summer, I remember last summer for sure. We had like John Wall and Marcus and Eric come down. And, uh, this summer, I think Nerlens was down here a little bit, but like, I don't really remember anyone. I guess that's a little different with the whole. Uh, Basketball World Cup stuff going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean that is true. Uh, you know, they're probably trying to focus on other things, and you know, if they get down there, uh, they get down here. Um, how do you feel that uh, Trey and Willie will uh, fit I think, in once they? I think they'll fit in well. Um, everyone knows what Willie can do, and uh, you know, Trey, he's he's a freshman, and so I haven't really seen him play. I've only heard certain things, and uh, I think they'll fit in well. They'll, they'll find their spot. Is, oh, who's the most impressive freshman that you've seen so far? Uh, either Tyler or Carl, probably. Carl, because uh, I, I really didn't watch like none of the freshmen. I didn't really know a lot about them. Yeah. So uh, probably Carl and Tyler definitely. Tyler, you know, he gets the team going, and he really brings a lot of energy. Same with Carl. Uh, Carl's just he's gonna be really good. Um, it's just crazy. So uh, yeah, them two for sure. Yeah. Is. Uh, when Tyler gets into the paint, what as a as a guy who's usually inside, what what do you what's your first course of action? Stay on your feet. Um, you know, you're obviously you know bigger than him, so he's probably gonna have to pass out. And um, when he penetrates, he's usually looking to dish anyway. He's not gonna shoot over you know some feet guys unless he's like a like a, a, a runner or something like that.
How difficult is that to defend? Um, I mean, he's quick. He's a, he's a really quick guy. So, uh, and he's really crafty. So, I mean, it could go either way. What have you uh, seen from Carl? Is it uh, is it one thing that he really does well, or is it just an, an overall? Uh, he plays extremely thing? hard, and he, like when he plays, um, how would I put it? Uh, he he goes at you like it's it's just he's a really competitive guy, really high energy. Is do you think that uh, how do you think that four or five six? Man, in this four or five six big man, how do you think that's going to shake out? Are you are you comfortable in thinking that you'll have a, a good amount of play, playing time this I, season? I, I don't even care about playing time. Like I care about winning. So if, if that means me playing more, then fine. But you know, whatever whatever coach wants to do to make us win, like that's all I care about. Like my goal isn't wasn't to come here and like play. And like I was, my goal was to come here and like win. So you know, I want to win a national championship. That's, that's my goal. The way last year ended, you see a hunger a little bit more than you did the year before. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I do want to play, but if it's a thing of where you know we need someone else in there, we have to get someone else going for that for us to like you know, win a championship. Then, like that's fine. What do you feel like you've uh, improved the most in your um, game? Let's see, uh, probably defensively, I'd say. Like, you know, in high school, like, I basically was kind of in the middle, grab rebounds and, you know, block shots or whatever. I never really had to, like, come out on the floor and guard anyone. So I think defensively, I definitely improved on a lot of stuff. And, you know, just running the floor, too. You know, that was another thing I didn't do well in high school. So, yeah, probably those two things. How's that three-pointer working for you? Uh, it's getting there. I'm uh, working on my shot. So uh, I just want to be a more consistent shooter. But, you know, I feel pretty good about shooting right now. Did it take a lot to adapt to how much, how quickly and how much you had to run in a college game compared to high school where it's probably a little bit slower pace? Yeah, uh, it is true. Um, uh, it's like the, believe it or not, like the court like size, it yeah. actually does make a difference. And uh, I don't know, it's just, you know, you had to condition yourself better and just, just prepare for it. Which one? Um, what's your, uh, what's your favorite sports movie? Favorite sports movie? Oh, oh my gosh, it's about Michael Orr. I forgot what it's called. Blind, Blind, Blind side. side. Yeah, I really like that one. It's really yeah. good. Movie. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. <laughs> Have you seen the Lord of the Rings movies? Lord of the Rings. I've seen them, but I don't really remember a lot about them. Like Frodo, that's about all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I remember Frodo. <laughs> He thinks Kobe Bryant's the best basketball player of all time. Kobe Bryant? Yeah. yeah I'd, I'd throw him up there probably, yeah.